happy 2023 everyone this is brandon from life is puzzling and oh boy well you know what they say get the worst of the bunch out of the way first right well here we go so i've decided to do something a little bit different i've decided to do a thorough overall background on certain puzzle brains and whatnot and this one's going to be a little conflicting because very little is known about this company's backstory. I actually looked up various things and I could not find anything. So you know what? I'm just going to post what I personally think about this brand and what I think their background is. Or maybe there's no Wikipedia or something. Maybe because this company is embarrassed by their backstory. I have no idea. So here we go. The first video of 2023, and we're talking about this. Let's roll. Okay, so my run-ins with this brand have been very back and forth. Mostly back, one case forth. I will go over that later. So you know how the saying is, if you see a cardinal, it might bring you good luck, or it could be the soul of a loved one looking after you. Well, anytime I see this cardinal... I immediately go for another puzzle brand on the shelf. Sorry, someone has to. To yes, we're talking about the infamous Cardinal Games or Cardinal Industries as they're referred to. I'm calling them games because industries means that they actually shell out good products. So I'm just going to go ahead and call them Cardinal Games because that's what they should be called. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's a little brutal, isn't it? Nope. And here's why. So my first run in with this infamous brand came in 2015 around the time the Force Awakens hype was really starting to pick up. They got the license, unfortunately, to do several Star Wars adult jigsaw puzzles. Some were from the original trilogy and some were from the Force Awakens itself. And I had no idea what I was going in for. So I bought all of them because, of course, the movie was being hyped. I love Star Wars. So I bought all of them, not knowing what I was really getting into. Two of them I couldn't even finish. One of them I did, but it had a lot of issues. And another one was so broken, I couldn't even finish it. So that's going to start me off with the quality of these products. They are about dollar store quality. And that's saying only because that's pretty much where you see their puzzles at. And where I think they get a good profit from. So, yeah, unfortunately, their products are not top quality. Honestly, I really don't know where else to go from that. It's They're very loose fitting. The pieces are very, very unevenly cut for the most part. It's It's not even worth it. I said, and supposedly this company has been around for a very long time. I do not get how. Uh, well, they uh, they make board games, and I guess their board games are okay. I'm going to put that in quotations because I'm not even going to waste the money to try to buy and find it out. So, overall, let's see. Now, this is the most recent one I did. I bought this a couple years ago for, I think, two bucks. And I like the movie, and yeah, they did blockbuster puzzles. As if Blockbuster's legacy needed this tainted on it. Yeah, these were not very good quality puzzles. Especially the box ones. The ones in the VHS case I heard were okay at best, but sadly, I heard they did not make them anymore. I heard the last ones they did were not good, so that's not too surprising. But yeah, this one was not good. I honestly knew it was probably coming, but... Yeah, as I said, that's when you immediately, when you see that logo, you go for another puzzle brand because it's not even worth the one or two bucks you pay for it. And I paid like 10 bucks for those Star Wars ones, only to find out they were five bucks at five below. So yeah, that, that joke's on me. Ha ha ha. It happens. So overall, let's see. Now, I know for a fact one thing is that Spin Master, who's been around for a long time and actually makes pretty good quality toys from the sound of it, bought them out in June of 2015. Okay, so if that's the case, why did the quality not improve? 
Well, apparently Spin Master let them have their reigns because of how well their puzzles sold. I will go with that because I I got nothing to say about that. I would be like, look, either you get your act together or your company is going under. Because I'm sorry, I do not like puzzle companies. When you buy a puzzle, what do you expect? Top quality, fun, value worth the money you pay for it. Well, I bought it for two bucks, and honestly, that wasn't even worth it. Because, well, yeah, as I said, their quality is not good. The picture quality on the pieces are not very good. A couple puzzles I've done were actually kind of blurry of all things. And yeah, somehow this puzzle still manages to crawl out of the hole and wreak more havoc on the puzzling community. But hey, you know what? If you enjoy the puzzles, maybe you got a good quality one. It happens. I've bought puzzles from brands I love before. And sometimes either the pieces were broken or the quality was not the best. It happens. But this, this is inexcusable. As I said, for a company best known for being found in a dollar store, that's pretty much the quality you expect to get from them because some, but yeah, somehow their puzzles managed to reach the shelves of higher ranking places like Target, Walmart, etc. If you got a Kmart to left in your area, which I doubt you do, you could find one there. I have no idea. But yeah, overall, this brand is definitely a huge stinker and easily the worst puzzle company that you can deal with. As I said, if you enjoy them, Good for you. You're welcome to like it. But for me, no thanks. I will not have anything to do with this brand ever again, no matter what licensing they somehow manage to scramble up. This is Brandon from Life is Puzzling, and I'm done with this video because I really do not want to talk about this brand any longer. Definitely the worst puzzle brand you can buy. Avoid it if you can. And... Happy puzzling, and as I said, with brands like this, life really is puzzling, isn't it? So, Happy New Year, everyone. Glad to start on a high note. And I will see you soon. This is Brandon checking out. Have a good one.